Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pikalski. Today we will continue creating financial model of a store, clothing store, it will be online store or retail store. Um, today we will talk about investment plan, how you can link this investment plan to the uh, revenue of your business idea. So um, let's start. If you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel. Also, you can order a financial model from scratch for your business idea or your existing business. Um, so, um, what we've done already, uh, we already uh, created um, um, the model for the revenue and direct uh, expenses for spring summer collection. When it starts, it's parameter pricing, discounting, volumes and so on. Uh, but in our business we have two collections, uh, spring, summer and autumn, winter. So now we have to, in order to uh, properly link our investment plan to, uh, to the revenues, uh, to copy this, um, we will name this uh, spreadsheet like um, spring. Spring summer, and now we will uh, copy move a copy, create a copy. Okay, So now if we move to the next, this will be, let it be blue, let it be red for example. Um, spring, summer. Autumn, winter. Winter. So, um, autumn winter collection starts in November. For example, so the first um, autumn winter collection will start will start in November 2021, and the first uh, spring summer collection with will, will start on March 2022, for example. So now we just enter the parameters of uh, autumn winter collection. Items, cost of production, pricing, quantity that we're going to sell. Uh, then we uh, specify price discounting, uh, the speed of sale um, of our uh, collection, then we specify um, an additional cost of production, and then as a result we have uh, direct costs for autumn winter collection, and we have revenues for um, autumn winter collection. Uh, now we have to create uh, another spreadsheet, data consolidation, I will call it I will just prepare um, the Excel sheet for my 
uh, modeling um, then what we do we just take G line G line So we'll take the revenues um, we'll take the name spring summer collections from here and we will take we will take the date on the green line that we already created here Then we will do the same for Autumn Winter Collection. Its name is here. And we are searching for the green line. Then we extract this formula. So here we can see how autumn winter collections uh, starts. Then we um, we observe the spring summer collection. So this is the revenue. Now we work with direct costs. We'll take the names from here. Then we go to the bottom of this table. Here we have direct costs for spring summer collection. So we take in, um, direct costs from this line. We take direct costs for autumn winter from here. Then we extrapolate this formula. Here we have direct costs for all our collections. This will be green lines because they will form the revenue. This will be the red lines because this will be expenses and they will go to our cash flow statement. And now we have to link um, investment plan to the moment of the first revenue to the November to November 2021. So first we, uh, we uh, calculate the revenue.
then we have to find the first moment um, operating operating activity So we create this line um, uh, to which we will later link all our payroll, uh, we will link fixed costs, we will link investment plans, so we just make some preparations for that. So now we can clearly see the moment of operating activity. One uh, means that it is, that we have it, and zero means that uh, the operating activity um, didn't appear, it is investment stage. So uh, now we have to find specific moment when it starts to link investment plan to this moment So we're just uh, searching for the moment when we have the conditions like this. So this one is equal to zero and the next cell is equal to one. Then we extrapolate this formula. So now we see this moment, November 2021. Now we can calculate the well, one. Now we can find the end of um, so this moment will be the end of investment stage. We just displace this number. To the left Then we create the line for counting down the investment stage. We go to the end of our timeline.
so here we can see this countdown and later we will link our investment plan uh, costs to this to the number of this or that month then what we do now um, month's number from 1 to 12 So now it's time for us to calculate the year when we start our operating activity. We just take this line, multiply it on this. Now we create totals for this line. So we have 2021. This is this moment. Now, now it's time for us to calculate the month. First of all, we'll just take the number of month and multiply it on this line. Then we also calcul can, um, calculate total 11, this means there is November. Then we will use VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP we will search this value. Then we go here. Uh, we will search this value in this table. We will take the second column, we'll need exact match. So here it is November. Now it's time for us to uh, create the inputs for investment plan. Investment plan, for example, we will have um, six months. The duration of our um, investment plan stage will be six months. So this month, so this will be the moment when we start operating activity, 2021, November, this now month it is 11.
so here will be the number of months then um, we will take we'll use VLOOKUP function for the month so for month here we will use VLOOKUP function we will search this value we will search it in uh, this table we will uh, need to take the second column we will need exact match I'll also we will use if error function we will fix this table so here we have automatic months of investment plan now we will do the same with the years So this is our investment plan. So for example, if we have here one, we will have a displacement. I will do it manually. So now we have our investment plan um, automatic. Um, investment item. So here we uh, just name all our investment items. For example, if we want to open a retail store offline, we just um, uh, we invest some money in construction, building some, buying some equipment, trading equipment. So uh, this will be the place where you can put all this stuff. So here we will um, place how much money we need to invest in this or that item uh, because this information is uh, an input so we color it with our specific color that goes with all our inputs so this is the input this is the input this is the input this is the input and this is also an input and what we will have to do now um, we will um, allocate this data inside our timeline um, for that we already created um, this um, reverse countdown investment stage we will copy the timeline
so here we will place all our investment items And now we have um, but we have uh, start start operating start operating this will be not an input this will be the moment when we start our operating activity this is not an investment stage so we call we will color it when with another color. Because it is November. November. And now we have uh, six months investment stage. We will write a formula using if function. fix the line we will use this Now we'll change the letters G, then F. Now we press enter. Then we'll extrapolate this formula this formula to the button and to the right to the whole of our timeline. So now we can see how our investment plan, this data, moved to the moment when we start our operating activity. And for example, if we want to displace um, the business, the in all investment plan will displace automatically. We don't need to. I uh, won't need to retype. Re a huge amount of data all investment plan because when entrepreneurs uh, used to retype the data they make mistakes as a result they don't see the real amount of financing uh, which they need to start the business so uh, we're just trying to create uh, the most automatic algorithm for our business model and um, uh, the next video uh, will be devoted to payroll then we will talk about fixed costs. Uh, then we will uh, consolidate uh, our business model to uh, cash flow statement. Um, and then we will have a final overview of it. So we will color this group of clients with uh, red because uh, they are expenses. They will go to cash flow statement as an expenses inside the investment stage. 
So uh, if you find this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe our channel, share this video with your friends. Also, you can order financial model from scratch for your business ID or your existing business. So thank you, see you next videos and bye.